off. So that rope we've just loosened runs all the way along the boom here up to this pulley mechanism, which is stowed at the moment here. We need to slacken this and loosen it off. And this is the system we use to actually tension the sail along the boom. So find the correct reefing eye for reef number one, hook him through, and we can then tension up. And we're tensioning this nice and tight. Can you see the rolls in the sail coming here? We're pulling the cloths because we don't want these reefing ropes here to actually take any tension. All the tension should be in the cloth of the sail itself. So we can now go forward along the boat and tension up. sail and then on this um, block mechanism here we have an additional piece of rope which goes round and underneath the boom and clips onto itself and that holds this end of the sail down with reef one here it's not quite so critical because we've got a short distance here but when you get to reef two, two and reef two and three these are a long way up here and without this piece of rope round here they will tend to want to go up into the air. Once we've done that, we can then tidy up. The little reefing ropes are here are tied on loosely, they don't need to be tight, and they're tied on strangely using a reef knot. Do we? No. I was um, sitting around the, around the sail though rather than the boom. Yeah, I but sort of thought of that and then you don't I don't bother. think it really matters as long as they're not too tight. Okay. And perhaps I'll reiterate that when we come back. Okay. So we'll do a last sort of take showing.